This camper is a 2001 Fleetwood Mallard Model 37D. I will go through the inside of it first and then walk you around the outside and I will try to point out any damages. This is a large park model. It appears to be in average to above average condition for the year. Has a front bunkhouse with two bunks and a third bunk that converts into a dinette. Lots of storage space. There is marks on the floors from the slide out going in and out. These are not the original floors, somebody has replaced them. This is a park model, so it does not come with a refrigerator. It just uses a standard household refrigerator. This corner of the slide out has a little bit of rot down in the bottom, as I'm pointed to right here. Might be a little hard to see there. I'll try to get in closer. Pretty common on slide outs to see that on the two corners where the gasket is. Walking towards the rear is where the separated bathroom is for the master. Sink on one side, toilet and shower on the other side, separated with a pocket door here and with blinds here. One drawer face is missing on the bottom. We'll walk around to the outside. It's a very large model. Check out the condition of the tires. Might be a little hard to see because they are muddy, but they do have quite a bit of tread. Actually, very good tread. Tires have probably been replaced somewhat recently. The awning is protected with a sun shield so it doesn't dry rot. That's what the aluminum cover is over the awning top there. There is damage in the back corner here, as well as when you walk around the back to right there. It looks like a little piece has been replaced. In this rear storage area, somebody has put in a larger water tank and electrical panel. We have not tested any of the plumbing in this we don't add water to these after October 1st because of freeze. However, everything else on the camper has been tested, including the heat, furnace, stove, and air conditioner. I have a ladder set on it so I can show you the roof in just a moment. A little bit dirty, could probably use a pressure wash. It does include two propane tanks. I'm unsure of the amount of gas in them. And appears there is a battery in there, but I'm not positive. I will have to open that to double check. They don't always include batteries. Walk up to the roof. The price of this camper is $3,900 plus sales tax, which is roughly $300. And that price is non-negotiable. The roof surface looks to be above average for the year. I don't see any 
real damage. I do see some areas that could be resealed. If we look closely there. They should be resealed every few years. It's very easy and quick to do. I think that should be it for this 2001 Fleetwood. If you have any other questions, just feel free to ask. Thank you.